this is your right shoulder kind of looking under the shoulder blade here. Now the rotator cuff is made up of four muscles. So we have our subscap here. If we turn around to the back, we have our supraspinatus sitting at the top, our infraspinatus here, and our teres minor. We call them the rotator cuff because they do help to rotate the shoulder, but the biggest thing that they do is act like a suction cup. So if I take this model apart here, we've got a ball in the socket. We kind of talk about it as a large golf ball on a small tee. It allows us to do a lot of motions, but also requires a lot of stability and um, of both ligament and capsule structures as well as these muscles here. So if we kind of see the tendons of the rotator cuff surround the head. So every time we lift our arm, these are engaging to suck the ball into the socket. So when we get some tearing, which typically occurs mostly in this top muscle here, the supraspinatus, between the tendon and the muscle complex, we lose some of that control and that's why we tend to see the shoulder hiking as people lift their arms. Um, so again, these muscles will heal a little bit, but primarily we're training around and strengthening the muscles around the shoulder complex and working on those mechanics in order to be able to lift your shoulder normally.